Good day everyone. Today we will answer this algebra challenge and the question goes like this. If x raised to 1 over x equals y raised to 1 over y equals z raised to 1 over z and x raised to yz plus y raised to xz plus z raised to xy equals 729, then what is the value of x in terms of y and z? You, you can, can pause, pause this video, video if you want, want to give, give this problem, problem a, try. a try. Now, let's answer this question together. So, first thing to do, of course, is to get our first given equation, which is x raised to 1 over x equals y raised to 1 over y equals z raised to 1 over z. Now, there's a lot of ways to answer this kind of question, but this method works every time. So, what we're going to do is to equate this three expression into another variable, and let's call this as k. Now, if we do that, take note that we form three equations. We have x raised to 1 over x equals k, y raised to 1 over y equals k, and z raised to 1 over z equals k. Now, let's focus on the first equation. So, let's solve for the value of x. So, what we're going to do is to raise both sides by x. Now, on the left-hand side, x raised to 1 over x raised to x is just x raised to 1. And x raised to 1 is just x. Now, k raised to x is just k raised to x, of course. Now, we will do the same thing to the second equation and the third equation like this. So, we have now x equals k raised to x, y equals k raised to y, and z equals k raised to z. Now, at this point, let's set aside this result and let's get the second given equation, which is x raised to yz plus y raised to xz plus z raised to xy equals 729. Now, take note that x is equivalent to k raised to x. So, we can replace this x by k raised to x like this. And this y can be replaced by k raised to y. And this z can be replaced by k raised to the power of z. Now, recall now, this law of exponents that, that, that says that if we have n raised to x raised to the power of y, and it is equivalent to n raised to x equal to n raised to y. The product of x Therefore, the first term, k raised to x raised to yz, can be written as k raised to the product of x, y, and z. Now, the second term is just like this. We have k raised to x, y, z also. And the third term is the same thing, k raised to x, y, z also. Now, on the left-hand side, take note that we can simplify this as 3 times k raised to x, y, and z. Now, divide 3 on both sides. 729 divided by 3 will give us 243. This will give us the value of k raised to x, y, z as 243. Now, let's solve for the value of k. To do that, let's raise both sides by 1 over x, y, z. This will give us the value of k as 243 raised to 1 over x, y, z. Now, take note that x raised to 1 over x equals y raised to 1 over y equals z raised to 1 over z equals k. Therefore, we can say that this 3 expression is equivalent to 243 raised to 1 over x, y, z. And take note that our goal is to solve for the value of x. So, let's take this x raised to 1 over x and 243 raised to 1 over x, y, z. Now, to solve for the value of x, what we're going to do is to raise both sides by x. On the left-hand side, this is just x. And on the right-hand side, this is just 243 raised to x over x, y, z. Now, we can cancel out the factor of x on the numerator and on the denominator. So, this will give us the value of x in terms of y and z as 243 raised to 1 over y, z. Therefore, 
given this equation, x raised to 1 over x equals y raised to 1 over y equals z raised to 1 over z and x raised to yz plus y raised to xz plus z raised to xy equals 729, then the value of x in terms of z must be 243 raised to 1 over yz. And as always, we are done.